Astrology and numerology is something we just associate with hippies or women that are trying to, quote, find themselves, be it young or old, and likely traveling to destinations like Bali. I don't believe in either of these things personally, but after an interview with John Zerko, who had previously interviewed, and him urging me to meet this man named Gary, who is a self-admitted numerologist and astrologist, I decided to look him up and was rather surprised. Gary, or GG33, was someone who I'd first come across on Twitter sometime in 2017. He was popular back then. I didn't believe in any of this stuff, but he had a following. But the crazy part about this is he's the exact opposite of the stereotype of a numerologist or astrologist. He's a man, an older man, he's very bold, has controversial takes, and he's in your face. Far from anything we associate with astrology. I wanted to know more. Was he a fraud? Is this whole thing fake? Or is numerology real? Well, I can tell you this much. I still don't believe in it. But what I learned in our discussion was a lot, and you should definitely tune in because of some things I couldn't show or talk about. It is a fact he is living in a very expensive area. It is a fact that he was in conversations and regularly speaks to billionaires, one of which all of you watching know who he is. I saw it with my own eyes. And it's also a fact that there are very, very rich men that pay him to do these readings for him. But why? I still don't entirely know. But it's intriguing, that's for sure. Especially when I decided to come prepared with questions about hip-hop and rappers and figures that he has no idea about and seeing if any of his assessments were remotely close to the truth, even an assessment done about me. John, you introed me to Gary here, who were at his studio. So how did you find out about him? And how did you first link up with him in Miami? Actually, he DM'd me something like, did you call me a f or so you, you just, I wasn't that strong. It was I something wasn't, not wasn't strong, strong. Yeah. but he attacked me because he saw my style is attacking everyone, and so I ignored everyone who said they want to collaborate. I'm like, eh. but this one message, he has his own following, he has his own thing going. I was like, wait a minute, you're a f and I attack him. And then weeks later, one of my guys, Chase, says, No, no, you guys would be good together. So come here, it's like conspiracy. I thought it was, he's gonna talk to me about aliens and stupid. I'm, I'm not into greys and reptilians. Yeah, he's not into that. And so he started talking Palladians. about... Palladians. Palladians, yeah. Okay. He, he started talking about the real sh**. And I'm like, I'm the only one on the internet who read about Pythagoras finding every letter equals to a number and all numbers that complete till nine, right? Uh, he's Are, the numerologist now. Well, yeah, he's, I'm learning. But <laughs> he's, all, he's setting it up. All numbers, are, are, we didn't create them. We just observed them. So they're thought patterns, and they make perfect geometric, infinite shapes, thought patterns of God. So numbers, the date you're born, a month is moon cycle. Month comes from the word moon, 30 or days or whatever. So does mom. Or is it 29 days? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so does mom, right? Or matter. That's why a woman has a 28-day cycle, moon matches mom, M-O-M-O. -O. And in Freemasonry, I don't know how I know this, but I read a book, but... Freemasonry, the moon is the fe feminine principle, Correct. and the sun is the masculine principle, and your brain is actually divided into a male and female part. The middle is the third eye, where you bite from the apple and you get that solar vision through a sodomy ritual. We'll go into it after. But I'd rather not. I know it's pride month, but I'd rather not. All right, All right, so, right, so Gary, how would you define what you do and your expertise is for someone that has no idea about any of this? Here's here's hey, what I asked him. Not you. Know, you. The, this is answering you. The first five seconds of meeting him, I'm like, oh, it's a schizo numbers guy, but he's rich. He knows all these famous people that work with him. They all do readings with him. I said, what is a reading? He said, when are you born? I said, February 23rd, 1994, before I even finished. What did you say? You said, entertainer? Mm -hmm. What did you say? Go. I said, you got, you're an entertainer. You have a short attention span. You're, you got a good mouthpiece. Again, when it comes down to it, communication starts with C. C is the third letter. And you, my friend, are a three-life path. Just like in history, Rush, Rush Limbaugh, Howard Stern, born in the 12th, one and two is three. You have a lot of famous people. And again, comedians like Chris Rock are three life paths too. You're, you're a clown when you want to be. By the way, clown starts with C. C is the third letter. So you see how everything matches within the English language. This guy's a pure entertainer. Why? Uh, a lot of people who were born in the 23rd are also entertainers. You basically got the two entertainer numbers, three and five. 
You got them both within you. Where's the five? You're born on the 23rd. Two and three is five. Oh, you add them up, right? Yeah, see? And you said eight is the number of money. Yeah, you don't got that one. <laughs> that makes you? sense. Yes, of course I do. You have, what do you mean? You're an 11. No, I'm a 33. Really? Yeah. Though. So, so here, here, Wait, what is a 33? I'm born January 7th. Do the math. Do the math. Okay, there you go. Help me with the math. You can't do one plus seven? I can't. I don't know, brother. Oh, you think you want to help me? Oh, one plus seven's eight. There you this go. This nigga got money. <laughs> but you're not I, I, You're not I, I, a Zionist. I, I, you're a I, I, Jew. I, I, what I, I, is a Zionist Jew's I, number? Uh, uh, Zerka starts with C, so the Zionist, so I'm not sure. Oh, shit. Okay. So, all right. So, <laughs> you're, so, this numerology thing, it's always existed? Of course. So, then why is it... So like the English language hasn't always existed, but you use the numbers from it. Like, oh, this is the third letter. So, so if you, if you if you take something with a tool yeah. and you built it from that tool, of course it's gonna match. You understand? So they, the, they built the English language around the numbers themselves. So of course the numbers existed before the language. Before it was the Greek language, then it was Hebrew, and then the final language is English. That's why the English language is everywhere. It doesn't matter if you're in Beijing. It doesn't matter if you're in Russia, Mongolia. All the signs are in English oh, for shit. a specific reason. That's why it's an international? That, yes, that's why it's called spelling. You guys know this. You're casting a spell. English profound, profound moment. English comes. Is it Phoenician? Does it come from? They say it's like a Phoenician. Like where does English come from? Here, here's what I'm trying to tell you. No matter where they tell you it came from, they're lying to you. So don't worry about the speculation. Most people even say it was Shakespeare. But when it comes down to it, you have to understand that language itself is coded. So for instance, uh, male. The first vowel of male is a. A is the first letter, just like aggressive, just like athlete. A lot of people who have male energies tends to be aggressive, argumentative, and athletes. Mm -hmm. A, A, A. A is the first letter. So the but English why vowel? Language, why would you offer vowel? And the vowels are more important. Why? That would have to go into secrets I am not revealing. Oh, that, that's where he charges me. <laughs> <laughs> that's where I charge everybody. And he so, has to sign a non-disclosure, too. If you're saying spelling is spellcasters, so that does that mean there are words people shouldn't be saying? Yes. Because they can cast bad spells? Correct. So how do people know which words not to say? The ones that are spread through the media all the time. Okay. The ones the media likes to make famous. Like what? I see. Well, he's not going to say it. Like diversity? Is that one of them? I mean, doesn't it have the word die inside of it? Okay. Uh, what about the progressive? Be more progressive. Mm -hmm. um, all I can tell you is when you look at certain words like alien and you take the A off and the N off, you have lie. When you take a word like Bible, you take the B-I off, you have a lie. So what you have to understand is you have to look at certain things that are hidden messages in plain sight. And you're saying if you spend enough time with every single word that you're obsessed with, you'll find something? No, you have to understand the numerology first. There's no point looking oh. at the letters if you don't know the numerology. So, for, for instance, for John, he has a twin brother who's the opposite of him. Who's the first? Yeah, he's five minutes older. Okay, so he's more of the alpha. Yeah. Okay, that's that's simple. The first one out is the alpha. So he, even though his brother is not an entertainer, doesn't matter. The first one's well, the he's alpha. He's a therapist, and he's never done drugs or partied. Mm -hmm. Officer, the, first, the first one is always the alpha. The second one is pretty much the loose change. So what that means is the second one can still be more talented than everyone else, but the first one's still going to have the much more aggressive attitude. Yeah, that's true. The, and and that, you know, there's a. I'm from Cleveland, Ohio, and right by Cleveland, Ohio, there's a place called Twinsburg, and this place, they ha every single year they have the Twins Festival. So I used to go there um, certain years, and I used to ask people their birthdays just so I could figure out what is the difference between the first and the second. And that's how I always figured out that the first one, no matter what the situation, even if it's a girl, she's going to be the more dominant one. Even if the first one is a girl, she will be more dominant than the second one. Now, you said when you're reading these books, you started studying this at 21, but didn't get it. 23. 23 is when you got it? Yeah. Right what pushed nine, you to right start? 9-11. Yeah, okay. So again, like I told everyone before, 9-11 happened on the 11th. First plane to hit the World Trade Center for at 11. New York City, 11 letters. The Pentagon, 11 letters. Even that plane that uh, crashed in Shanksville. 
That was, again, 11 letters. The president at the time was George W. Bush, 11 letters. They attacked Afghanistan on 10-7-2001. Take out the zeros, 17201, again, 11. At that point, I'm like, okay, what the f*** is going on? And, you know, it's not like I figure this out automatically. I'm like, this just looks very suspicious to me. But you think they're delib deliberately that, that, doing that, that, it, that, casting it? That's the conclusion I came to. And I didn't know in 2001. I just thought it was a coincidence that should be studied. You see a pattern that comes over. Like, for instance, say uh, you're a baseball. Uh, you have a baseball team. And your team blows the lead in the ninth inning like 15 times in a row. You're going to start looking for things like what the fuck is going on. Or if you're a football player and your team wins it at the last second every single time for 10, 15 games in a row with the field goal. Or even even better yet, something hits the goalpost 10 times in a row. Something's wrong. Yeah. The math doesn't add up. So when I saw stuff like that, I was like, okay, time to investigate. And you know what really got me? History. That's what you really got to study. Even if it's the victor's history, you have to study history. And the reason you have to study it is because they can't lie about the dates. They can lie about everything. They say the reason it happened, the, the circumstance, they can lie about everything. Six, they can't six, lie nine. about <laughs> they can't lie about the date. But hold on. You're saying there's it's a more cataclysmic event if they do it on the Correct. September eleventh. Correct. Do you get more of that uh, cosmic energy? No, because people get more emotional under 11 energy. And oh. because people get more emotional, they're going to get more out of the experience. To, to go they're into the Middle Eastern wars. You're yeah. going to terrorize people. And that's exactly what they want. If I was doing things like that, I would do it on 11 days. F*** out. Wait, and what's the date today? And that's why, that's why World War One ended on 11-11 at there exactly is. 11 o'clock. That one blew There's away. no chance that could be a coincidence. 10.55, these motherfuckers. I'm still trying to put a cap in your ass. At 11 o'clock, it stops. Why? Because people in positions of power wanted to do that way. So now the next logical question is, why would they want to do something like that? And that is when I started becoming a numerologist. First thing I did, like any logical person, it wasn't really an internet back then that good. You were gambling with this. No, so no, not gambling. I didn't start back then, but um, it did later on. But when it comes down to it, you start going to Barnes and Nobles. I know they're all out of business now, but you know, first I used to you know get those books, and then I'd read these books for hours and hours, just smoke, read these books, and I'm like, some of this shit's, shit, but I know there's something here. Like I know there's something in this. But what I'm reading right here is garbage. So they were the authors were never an authority to you? You're like, I'm taking this shit out. This stuff's no, garbage? Not, not right away. It took me about three, four months to realize that the books were basically, you know, big lies. Was it watered down? Food. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, the basics they had right. But anything even remotely advanced, it was all wrong. Like, people just making up stuff. And in 2002... I started talking to all the best numerologists. They gave me all that courtesy because I was on the radio, you know, talking a little bit. That's how you develop that mouthpiece. You got to talk. And you know all about that. And, yeah. you know, being. <laughs> it's the only way I can like, generate a fucking dollar to my name. Huh? And, you a and, and, <laughs> and I, I start just looking at this stuff and I start talking to these people. And over and over and over, something came up. I started noticing a pattern with these people. And I talked to about four or five of the so-called top numerologists in the world. They were all old. I'm talking about 70s, 80s. They all learned it from the same person, Juno Jordan. And they basically called themselves numerologists because they read someone else's words and they rewrote it in their own words and put out a book. And that's why they decided they were a numerologist. And the thing that kept sticking out over and over was these people were always divorced. And I'm like, wait a second. If you guys are so good at numerology, why the f*** are you divorced? And you know, they, they, Because they, that's they, the they, one they, thing that the, not even the universe can fix is a f woman's mind. That's what hey, hey, brother, I've been You can't predict that. I've been married for 20 years, so I'm good. But you know, when it comes down to it, if people learn numerology and astrology, they won't have issues like that. 
Because you'll be able to know what woman you can train and what woman you can't train. No, you guys watching this, don't don't get married because at exactly 11, 11 o'clock, 11 lawyers are going to knock on your door and take 11% of half of everything you have. And it's really 50. It equals up that she took everything, bro. I'm going to tell you this about women, man. As long as you keep them in the house and they're not working and they're not working and they're, you, you know, taking masculine issues, which makes them a lot more less feminine if as long as you take those problems away from them and you actually are really good in the sack no one's gonna cheat on you man as long as you pipe them down right and take care of them you're good bro yeah, i you're can't good. take care of them or pipe i got erectile dysfunction from the drugs but i'll tell you this is a woman doing masculine things i always say it increases her anxiety that she's not being guarded and she starts to turn on you sub subconsciously do you believe that well I i'm gonna tell you this if a if a woman stops listening to you and she stops respecting you uh you're gonna have issues uh actually you know making sure other guys ain't tapping that yeah that, that that's it. and here's the thing women ain't loyal some are thank goodness i knew what to look for to find a loyal woman did you use numbers of course of course why do you think i'm married every 20 years and i don't have issues and i have a dime piece so when it, when it comes down to it, people have to understand if they learn this stuff, they'll know what they're compatible with, what they're not, and they won't have those issues in life. But that was my problem with those numerologists. They were selling matchmaking advice and these were divorced three and four times. And the second thing that really bothered me, they're all broke. If you knew what you're talking about, how the are you broke? Well, how'd you find the book if they're broke? They have to have some money. Oh, Dude. What, they have like a million? No, they he was hunting like, for the This books. is 2002. How much did they have? Probably less than 100K, bro. Oh, that's some, some, some people, like, even less than, honestly, back then, probably less than 35. They really didn't have money. They're selling readings for $25. They didn't even oh. know that 3 plus 5 equals 8. These are morons, man. The, the Yours is one, $188? No, no, that's my students. I don't talk to anyone for 188 Are you nuts? How much do you talk? Uh, you depending, well, if, if you want to talk to me within a month, it's like 575. If you want to talk to me with, and by the way, there's a waiting list for that. So if you want to get, no, 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 list, just get him high. I, I so, smoked so, him up. I smoked so, him up with a lot of weed and I got a free, he just started babbling. I'm like, that was like this. So I don't even smoke weed. I'm like, get this guy high. I'll get my free. Wait. So th these are expensive reading. Yeah, dude. Yeah, most people can't afford okay. them. And these famous names that you do it for? Don't, don't say any Yeah, yeah, names. I know, I know. But you'll never say it, right, on camera? No, of course not. You, so why, when why these... would you burn your relationships with people? So when you found Huge out that these guys are failing, did you say, like, their information is bad or that you had to the innovate on it? The, if, if the car gets in a car accident, it's not the car's fault. It's the motherfucker driving the car. So the same thing with numerology and astrology. Motherfucker, if you up, it's not the science it's you it's not the people who said trust the science it's the people who came to that conclusion i trust the science i don't trust you and you're saying military also does numerology yeah of course everyone is cia fsb uh mi6 they all use this stuff why wouldn't they why wouldn't they this stuff works this is like if you understand psychology and you're a big fan of jordan peterson this supersedes psychology this is basically like the steroids and by the way, if Jordan Peterson uh, thinks this is, I got a million bucks, bro. You can we can bring twenty people off the streets, twenty people off the streets, okay? He can talk to them all for five minutes. I want to be blindfolded when I talk to these people, and I bet you I nail those people and their personalities and what they've been through more than you ever will. You talk to them for five minutes, I'm blindfolded. What's up? You're that confident? Yes. Twenty in a row. Cause I'm not gonna lie, I, I'm super skeptical, but I'm also open-minded. Like I'm not gonna straight up be. say it's when you like gave me my number, I I was like, okay, this is kind of accurate, but I don't know if it's accurate because it's confirmation bias of or course. I want it to be accurate. Of so what was the number that you said I was? Give me your birthday so everyone hears it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want to dox them on my birthday. Okay, never mind. So, so you're an eleven eleven yeah, pack. Yeah. And elevens are old souls. So one of the things I like to, so that basically means you've been reincarnated quite a few times to actually be, have a right to have that energy. So here's what it comes down to. People always see you and they'll open up to you, start telling their problems, start coming to you for guidance. This is who you are. Even at a young age, that's who you are. What do you do for a living? Kind of make videos, uh -huh. pretty you, much like explaining stuff. Uh -huh. What do you do? Don't you manage people? 
Yes, as okay. well, yeah. So people come to you for guidance? Yeah, frequently. Okay, gotcha. so most Especially of my whores. My whores go to him and start opening up, and I'm like, yo, what the fuck? You, you open them up in different ways, huh? I, I, I'm trying my best. <laughs> and, and basically, like, for instance, when you look at 11s, one of the things you look at is, let's just look at the best of all time. Michael Jordan, Kobe Bryant. So Michael was an 11. He mentored Kobe. Kobe starts with K. K is the 11th letter. All of a sudden, Kobe mentored Kyrie. Kyrie 11, he's also an 11 life path. See how it goes down the list? If you just know what to look for, look at the royal family. Most of those from Prince William to Prince Charles, 11 life paths. What do you think? They're all C-sections. They're doing it on purpose because they understand uh, how energy works. Now, most of us can't see auras, so we can't see the energy. But the matrix, this is what this virtual reality all is. This virtual reality, it allows you to understand what energy is flowing through the numbers. So if you can read the numbers, you understand how the energy works. Is that making sense to you? I have a question on that. So you're saying basically the world kind of operates on these numbers. Correct. Now, the, I come to two different conclusions with this. Let's hear One it. makes a little bit less sense to me. One is the outcomes are on these numbers because that's just the way the world is like wired. It's wired on numbers. Mm -hmm. So things, these events okay. and these births will happen on these numbers. Okay. Another is a lot of people are conspiring or coming together to make sure things happen on these dates and numbers, which Why seems a lot that? more difficult. Why would they do that? I don't know. The only reason they would do that is because they understand the numbers have an effect. So it can't be possible two without one. So they'd have so one would have to exist for them to exactly. try to manipulate exactly it to become one. They're just trying to take advantage of the energy. They're doing what I'm asking describing here. Okay. That's why Oklahoma City happened on 419, 1995, 419, 1995, adds up to 38, 3 and 8 is eleven. If eight is the money number, why would Royal Family be born as eleven? Wait, can we go through zero to so you said the numbers are zero to nine, mm -hmm. right? Well not really zero, but we can start with one. Okay, so can we just like go through the yeah, numbers? Okay, no problem. Like the basics. Yeah, so, one, so one is uh basically the male energy. We talked about that a little bit before. Uh, one of the life paths in history, LeBron James, uh, Napoleon. Napoleon was a leader. That's what ones are. Even women who are ones tend to be more in leadership positions. Even women. Like who? Uh, Cheryl Sandberg, born on the 28th. She's a CFO of Facebook, and she's also a self-made billionaire. Now, when you said, a hey, Zerka, go, when you're looking for a woman, go for an 11. You do good with 11s, maybe not the best, but you said... 11s are like Candace Owens? Oh, she's born on the 29, 2 and 9 and 11. Elevens have that charisma. They're yeah, no, I'm charismatic. What, have you noticed? He's like uh, Candace politically, the jokes, the everything. And so all 11s have the same personality? No, not the same personality because environment plays a role. If you put an 11, in, you know, in San Francisco, it might be more of a rainbow. If you put an 11 in uh, Madrasa, in the Middle East, it will be more likely to be a Muslim. So environment does play a role. But what it does, what it basically does is, okay, if someone is going to be stubborn, it doesn't matter if they're going to be a LGBT or a, someone who's a Muslim because they're still going to be stubborn. But their environment plays a role in their upbringing. So it, you have to honestly look at everything. So it's, like an, it's, like, it's like an equation. You have to understand the numerology and astrology and then put the um, basically environment into it. But well. you're saying that means there's prisoners who are intelligent 11s born in the wrong place. Pretty much, yeah. Wow. That's so that's a lot also of why you percentage. said when you talked about the Jordan Peterson thing, why it would be important for you to just not know their birthdays, but to also talk to them a little bit. No, no, Jordan Peterson can talk to them. I don't need to talk to them. I just need a blindfold. And their I, 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 would, I would prefer to have a blindfold on so I can describe the way they look. And the way their body looks, because it's more impressive when I don't look at them first. See, when I talk to people on the phone, I describe how they look. And basically, that actually, you know, puts that much more emphasis on how accurate this stuff is. Wait, just by knowing their birthday? Yeah. That's it? Of course. I'll give you an example. Um, Bradley Martin, okay? Bradley Martin's born on the 22nd, right? Uh, 22 is the number of the bodybuilder. So most people who had a history of bodybuilding as a percentage, not every single one, but as a percentage, there's a lot of them born on the 22nd. The top two female bodybuilders of all time were born on the 22nd. That number is associated with building up a body. And think about it, bodybuilder, BB, B is the second letter, so it makes sense. A 22 would be into stuff like that. So again, 28 is the number of wealth. 
Uh, Elon Musk born on the 28th. Uh, Bill Gates born on the 28th. So, whoa, here, so, so, whoa, whoa, whoa. Stop, stop. so here's how you prove this. People can say, okay, that's one guy. But you can go and do a list, and I've actually done these graphs of the top 50 billionaires for the past 35 years. And the 28 is always represented a higher percentage, 300 higher uh, percentage higher than any other number. So there's more billionaires on the planet born in the 28th than any other number. That's how you know it works. They go off statistics for everything. So if you showed them the, those statistics, how would how would someone refute that and say it's schizo? They go off statistics for car accidents and everything. Let me let me. Let me so you have a list of billionaires? Yeah, of course. Let me find it right. Real now. Jews. <laughs> here, so here, here's a list of the top uh, 50 billionaires. Look, the 28th. See how it hits? Holy. That's so, way wow. different. That graph is See? retarded. See, so we have the top 50 billionaires in the world. And look at the percentage. Oh, look at the percentage. So six is on the sixth. They're f-ing losers. They're not billionaires ever. Not one. So look, twenty-eighth. They have eight billionaires out of fifty. Eight out of fifty are born on the twenty-eighth. Some numbers they're not even close. You see that? Yeah. Twenty-seven is a zero. Zero for twenty-second. Because your bodybuilders never make. <laughs> they make a million if they're the best. That's it. And no, but, not too many billionaires. 23. There's, there's third. I would be third, not 23rd, right? Uh, no, you would be right here in the 23rd. You got one. Four. So you got to make it two, <laughs> man. You, you got your work cut out for you. I got to kill that guy. <laughs> <laughs> Take his spot. Turn. Take his spot. But see, again, all jokes aside, you can find this on uh, FindGG33 on Twitter. I mean, how do you disprove that? I say something is. I go through Forbes' list. It's not a made-up list. And I put it. And by the way, this ain't for one year. I got this graph for 35 years. So again, people can want to say this is all coincidence. I'll ask you why uh, the Dallas Cowboys, the most valuable football franchise of all time, are founded on the 28th. Why is that? Why is that? Oh, the the money. The money. Exactly. The money uh, Who's the, the second money. most? Mm-hmm. Uh, I think it's Manchester or something like that. Uh, okay, so if I give you an event and the date of the event and the person associated with the event, can you give me like information on it? Yeah. Okay, so like let's say. Uh, like Travis Scott, he's very popular. Mm-hmm. He was born on April 30th, 1991. So w- w- what's the date you want me to give him? So the date, he had like this big festival where a bunch of people died, like 10 or 11. And that was on 11-5-2021. Okay, uh, so I can explain that. Travis Scott is born 1991, the year of the goat. The goat's enemy is the ox. 2021 was an ox year. So he would be in his enemy energy, and that's why he got hit. So is that why, like, is it, was it 12 years ago that Kanye West had got hit last? Uh, Ka- Kanye West. For what? Uh, he was Kanye, born. Kanye West's uh, mother died in his enemy year. Whoa. And he was born uh, June. 6 8, 1977. He is an 11-life path. Uh, Kanye has a whole bunch of charisma. Kanye starts with K. K is the love and the letter. Even though his name is Ye now, which is what the name he wants to go by. So again, I'm not trying to offend you, brother. But his former name was Kanye, and he's, uh, he used to be married to Kim. Kim, again, K. K is the love and the letter. Kanye, K. K is the love and the letter. He's the love and the life path. And that's why he made so much noise. The, the highest level spells, it's always a Hegelian dialect. Where they like bring two groups to fight each other when there's enough bloodshed on the 11 11 11 world war one ends oh. and then they have this new super states that they they, build. they can always cause issues it doesn't matter where they can turn females against males gays against straights communist against capitalists it does not matter in religion catholics against christians in islam sunnis against uh shiites they will turn everyone they got their sex everywhere they got their sleeper agents everywhere and when they want to activate them they do it just like for instance when they want to start a riot they don't have to tell anyone to do it they just in egypt during the arab spring in 2011 which was started on 11 day what they do they just cut off the grain supply no more food coming in, food prices go up, poor people riot. You don't have to fucking do anything, cut off the food supply. The way we should see it is like we're at water mania with our kids and stuff, and they, they you know how they go bing, and there's a big wave of water that starts? You're saying on the 11th, you can ride that wave into world war fucking cataclysm. Yeah, because people, people will be like, if, if, if you attack, if you attack something, 
on an 11 day, like 9-11, all of a sudden people get really emotional and they'll get behind the government. They did this. Osama did this. Attack. And by the way, Osama bin Laden, born 1957, year of the rooster, is killed 2011, year of the cat. Again, enemy signs. Always people get hit in their enemy will, year. Will I die on my enemy year? Uh, let's hope not. Oh, it could be wrong. It's only like an 80% chance. Ah, I'll give it a little less than that. Okay. So based on a year, you can tell if someone had like a very bad year in yes. their past. Yes. Okay. Yours so would be 213. Now, hold on. When I met him and I'm like super skeptical, I'm like, yeah, you know, well, I'm that was actually a bad year. I, yeah, yeah, that's exactly what I said, bro. He said, he said, oh, I'm actually good at this. He, first of all, he called me a dog. He's like, you're the dog, huh? Blah, blah, blah. Said 2012. Yeah. He said 2012 was the worst year of my life. And I was like, no. And I thought, and I'm like, oh my God, the one time in my life, I am not known for that. You can give me any drug, I don't get anxiety. I had panic attacks because I didn't have college and I moved construction bulk, uh, furniture for $10 an hour in debt, mad at my parents trying to f***ing make it, leave the home and sh And then I was like, I'll take my own life. This is the worst shit to ever happen. And then it got worse and worse. 2012 is the worst year for me ever. And I've had years where I've been jumped, stabbed, and uh, everything happened, happens and I dealt with it. <laughs> yeah, it happened last week. <laughs> so shades. But, but when you nailed that 2012, did he get yours too, the worst year? Like, it was definitely one of the It years. was definitely a very low year. I was the most lost that year. The same. He got my most Like, I had no, like thought of like what my future was going to look like and the, what, so so again now you understand how i call travis scott how i was able to do that because that was his bad year just like i called yours and yours that happened to him so again travis scott if you're going to watch this and, and again my videos usually get millions of views so there's just a chance he might uh and it hell zerk is here you're here that's definitely going to make it happen so you're a, uh, born in the year the goat 91 you got hit 19 uh 2021 year of the ox that's just the way things work Oxes and goats around me. See, this is common Wait, sense to me. Dude. I've been doing this for 20 f years. This is all common sense to me at this point. What's my enemy as a dog? Uh, that's a dragon. Oh, fuck. Okay. Yeah. A dog versus a dragon? This is unfair. What the? Give me the f***ing goat. What the fuck? But hold on. <laughs> now, you're saying... What are the chances in that horrible year that's coming for me? I can flip it. I can change it. It's best to lay low. For real? Just sleep in? Uh, yeah, pretty much. So, like, don't try to do anything big. Like, yeah. let's say Agreed. an artist releases an album every two years, right? Mm -hmm. And you might want to skip his enemy year. So, skip that yeah, year. Pretty much. I mean, there are people in uh, football history uh, who've done stuff like that. Like, for instance, Andrew Luck is born in 1989. He's a former uh, quarterback for the Indianapolis Colts. He's born in the snake year. Right before 2019 started, he, he basically quit. He knew it was his enemy year. So, can I give you some birth dates of other uh like popular figures like let's say certain rappers okay, go just ahead. tell us stuff about. okay so a uh, popular one obviously is drake he's uh 10 24 86 uh he's born in the year of the tiger and tigers are really really good at making noise uh people who are tigers are the third sign that's so, me so, let's so go just like threes talk tigers the third sign so they talk examples of tigers Andrew Tate. Again, uh, when it came down to it, uh, that guy uh, runs his mouth quite a bit. Uh, Tom Cruise, another tiger. So when it comes down to people who are born in tiger years, they tend to have a more of a um, aggressive attitude toward the establishment. Even if you look at all of Tom Cruise's movies, he's always you know going against the system. Yeah, he was against Big Pharma mm -hmm. and needles. Exactly. Remember in the beginning? And very yeah. so. But again, Andrew Tate, as much as he's against the system, mm -hmm. he didn't JQ once. They said, they said, who controls the world? And he said, it's not about who. Let's he, not talk he, about he, that. It's about what. He, he, How's that against the system? He, he said he didn't care if he had a gay son. Um, no that, way. That, when the f*** did he say that? He, he said he didn't care if he had a gay son. Uh, not only him, uh, that guy Waller said the same thing. What, recent? Yeah, I'll, I'll show it to you. These guys are yeah, controlled so, so, off, so, bro. So, so again, I, I, if you're a Muslim and you hear like that, that's kind of haram, ain't it? That's, I mean, that's, that's kind of haram, isn't it? I think that's very. I think, no, I think very. a Muslim only fans manager. I think that's the wrong <laughs> part. <laughs> <laughs> you know, even if you look at Pride Month, it says demon inside. 
What do you mean? Like, for instance, the do, end do, of do, Pride and the beginning of month. So just uh, do the first. Uh, Let his brain roll a little uh, bit. Uh, again. <laughs> Wait, what? Write it down. Do you have a pen? Oh, Write it down. So P R I D E. So you take the D E and then you take the month. Um, Nigga! Yeah, pride <laughs> has the word demon. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that moment. We got one of those. Whoa! Yeah, they're telling I'm you. I'm stealing that. They're That's my you. TikTok clip. Yeah, they're telling you. Yeah, they're guys, you. guys, pride month has the word pride month demon in it cut it give me this he i didn't learn from him of we're course not stealing, we're stealing that hey, hey brother that's what everyone else does for me and i think for drake he's not like as loud but he has always bucked against the system even though it seemed like everything was in his favor a common theme he would have in his music is you know like they're trying to hold me back these people are against me and in the beginning he did have a lot of people against him because of the music that he was putting out in the early days so that kind of does line up yeah, um, listen, anyone at that level is, is going to have someone controlling them to a point. But as he was coming up, it, it should more represent his energy. Once he actually gets there, you start to understand, you know, people control you. Like, for instance, Will Smith, uh, yeah, his his woman was basically f***ing their son's best friend. And then she took him on the podcast and told that f dude that, you know, she had an entanglement. I mean, I think, you talk about a beta male. That That's something else, bro. Hey, that guy it? saved us on Independence Day, okay? Mm -hmm. So what was he that? saved us from the aliens. So is that guy's, like, number coincide with that level of behavior? Or do they not match? Or I, 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 well, well they, I don't think they ever matched. I mean, Jada Pinkett Smith has always been a uh, you know, she always wanted to be with Tupac. She's born in the year of the pig. Tupac's born in the year of the pig. That's She had that connection. Once Tupac died, I don't think she ever loved another man. That's who she loved. And Will Smith admits this. You know, so uh, again, when you marry a woman who's still infatuated and martyred another man in her mind, she's never going to form that close connection with you. So of course she's gonna cheat on you. So this was his fault that he Will, didn't choose properly. What if Will yeah, wanted a reading? Wait, 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 wait. I, I've done way bigger people than Will Smith. He's like, you're a cuck. I, I, I don't I, do I, readings. I, 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 I've done way bigger people than Will Smith. I am not worried about Will Smith. Will Smith, if you're watching this, um, you, I mean, listen, you're pathetic. <laughs> you're you're f pathetic. Your TikToks bro. are big. You you, you allow another man. To sleep with your woman. A boy. And, and, and not only that, this is your son's best friend. So someone came over for a sleepover and they happened to <laughs> your <laughs> life. You bitch ass. <laughs> hey, my handler is correct. Listen, I know all the celebrities who DM him, right? He doesn't go in detail, but I know, we know, like we're close. And the interesting thing about this is you take on a bunch of people you don't really respect, but if they've crossed the line into hyper cuckhood, no matter how much money they have, he'll say live on a podcast or he fucking vlog oh, cool, or whatever. Man. He'll say, nah, bro, I'm this cool. is fucking disgusting. I got my For bag. Will Smith, he'll say, that's the most money in the game. And what's interesting is, have you noticed Hollywood guys, not just Will Smith, they all got to get in a dress and do something homosexual before a fat oh, do you, contract. Do you, do you remember what Will Smith's first movie was? No. Six Degrees of Separation, where he actually played the role of a f And the person who put him on was a guy by the name of Quincy Jones. Quincy Jones is... Uh, Michael was, Jackson? Was, was, yes, he's another one. Uh, he Quincy Jones put up the most powerful black people in America because he was their handler. And for Quincy Jones to put you on, you needed to be two things. Attractive and willing to bend over. So, it, it, so it, yeah, that the Will Smith got paid. Uh, so I, again, it, it, it's a possibility he doesn't even give a f about pussy. So that's why he doesn't care if you know Jada cheated on him because he's actually on his knee pad somewhere. In my documentary coming out, where I uncover the deepest, darkest secrets of Egypt, even Pythagoras, Freemasonry, all this, there's one thing that I learned after a hundred books, and it's not a homosexual sodomy ritual just for fun. There's a psychic trauma bond happening, especially if they're young, 
when they pop someone in the ass, even Marines it, 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 to it go to higher it, ranks in military. It changed their chakras. So when you actually molest a little kid, it changes their chakras, and then they become gay in the future. Don Lemon, a uh, former CNN anchor, is the prime example. So he got molested as a kid, and he actually uh, has a husband. Uh, so again, a lot of, see, they can't actually reproduce, so they have to convert, and that's how they actually convert. So why is it, for example, like let's say a veteran went to war or something and he experienced like a traumatizing experience. He would come back and he would say, hey, look, this is the experience that I had. I wouldn't advise this to like the younger people. So why is it like people like Don Lemon, if they experience this traumatic experience and then they, you know, they become whoever they are. And then they encourage the younger people to go through the same yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's their chakras, bro. They actually, like misery they loves change, company. It changes their whole outlook. Yeah, they actually think that's normal. Then, and they say for an eighty percent. That's why. That's why the cancer has to be eradicated. They, and what's crazy is what they say is for a eighty percent, eighty-five percent mind control. It's like in the trauma you can program them because they actually the child enters a dissociative state. But if it's really satanic and horrifying, and you're screaming at them doing it, like Hillary, what you know. Basically, their mind shatters into pieces and they blank out like this and they go to a happy place because they can't take the trauma of cutting them and rape, rape the rape ritual. And when they're actually dissociated and, and, and in that state of trance, like they go to, it's called in Freemasonry, Albert Pike talks about you, the biggest pain and darkness turning into Elysium and joy and heaven. And they get this third eye and right when they're like this, like a zombie, you can program them by, you could say one command, like, kill now! And they can actually hold this, suppress this memory for 10, 20 years when they're walking out in public. I, I think you're they, talking about MK Ultra. Yes, yes, That's yes. MK Ultra. That's not Masons, bro. It, That's but no, no, they mastered it in ancient Egypt, not how they say in World War II. But mm -hmm. apparently 20 years later, they live a normal life. Some mm -hmm. of them even straight and coping. They get a trigger. They get one phone call from the same mm -hmm. voice, same tone. Kill them now! And boom, boom, boom! They start fucking shooting up places, and they can Dude. when they enter that state, they can take instructions better. They don't move like a young adult. They move like a master. They're they have a mastery. They're, they're, they're called Manchurian candidates. Yes. yes. And they're, they're uh, the provided by MK Ultra. So yeah, I know yeah. exactly so the terms you're talking about. That, that clip is gonna bang on TikTok because all the conspiracy guys say they mastered it in World War II. Dude, they mastered it from the the tribe, the cannibal tribes, cannibal. Since cannibalism, they found out, hey, if you don't, if you want generational wealth, and your kids, rich father, poor son, keep pissing it away. You traumatize them and not by just cutting a puppy's head off and yelling at them if you actually do harm to them every year your son your grandson your great great grandson they all do the job that you wrote down you need them to do so they all go into politics become george bush stuff like that it has to be done through horrific trauma and that, that that that's how you brainwash people yeah. and they say yeah, if you yeah, want a hundred percent control the only way you get a hundred percent which is damn near impossible ages two to four or six i forgot what it was what when you found all of this and it was like changing your life what made you want to spread it as much as possible because i haven't seen any male push numerology astrology i don't I can't even think of somebody that's like a competitor of there yours. Are, there yeah. is no competition. I destroy them all. And and, and the, the competition, they don't make money from it. They try and get like 10,000 views on a YouTube video and stuff, but they'll never show their face. They'll never actually have clients that made money off it. And they cannot explain what they're seeing. They're just noticing like one pattern, but he'll notice one pattern, explain it four different ways, go in depth and then start linking that number let's say it's your number to celebrities and then you start hearing celebrity names that your mom and dad and aunts and uncles and grandparents all said hey you're like will smith hey you're like this whatever name they told you he drops that name and he doesn't even know who the f you are that's what blew me away and i kept testing him because i'm like i don't trust you i don't trust you i don't trust you i kept pointing you we went to trust? dinner he spent four thousand <laughs> dollars on us we went to dinner come on listen listen we went to dinner he hit everyone i said do her do him do the waiter do he hit everyone correct 
And I can tell when people are just being polite or when the waiter goes, that's it. That was good. Yeah, because in that year, yeah, I lost a loved one. Me, I don't give a f This guy's legit. We're about to make money. F your loved one. That was the craziest shit I've ever seen. Bro, I gotta take a piss. Now, let me tell you something. We are, I'm not gonna say where we are. We're in the high rise. So what, yeah, so what motivated you to say like, hey, this changed your life, but you want everyone to know about this? Ego. Because I wanted to prove I could. How many people get to actually change the world? A lot of people talk about it. They'll give you motivational speeches. They'll tell you, yo, this is what worked for me. Nah. I'm gonna touch everybody. See, the difference with Andrew Tate is he touched 35% of males. If you take that in society, that's about 17, 16%. That means 84% of the people out there rejected his message. No matter how strong the, his supporters were, 84% were pretty much indifferent or didn't care, or strongly against. With me, nah. It's gonna be men. Like you said, the first one, whoever was a man. Um, by the way, I'm not a communist, so that's gonna make me different from all the females who are doing this. So I'm going to be the first one who takes the females, the males, the Muslims, the Christians, the Jews. And I'm going to do it because I'm going to make it make sense. I'm going to do what other people couldn't. I'm going to make it make sense. And I'm going to bring it to your level. Because if I want you to believe, it's not your responsibility to believe. It's not your responsibility to give me your faith. It's my responsibility to give you enough evidence so you can say, okay, this is real. And how am I going to do that? I'm going to tell you a few things. So if you're in sports, I'm going to tell you Michael and Kobe were both 11-11s. If we're in history, I'm going to tell you about, okay, Al-Qaeda was founded on the 11th, and they attacked Spain, they attacked India, they attacked America all on the 11th. Coincidence? I'm going to tell you that uh, the World Health Organization called COVID-19, COVID-19 on the 11th. I'm going to tell you they named it a pandemic on March 11th. So again... I'm going to bring it to your level because that is my responsibility if I want people to actually see that this is real. So whether you're in stocks, and I tell you the um, uh, war, uh, Wall Street crashed on October 29th, 1929, 2 9 or I'm going to tell you Hurricane Katrina, the big one that hit August 29th, 2005 in St. Louis. Again, 2 and 9 is 11. Or I'm going to tell you, listen, Joe Rogan is born on the 11th. He's the top guy in the game. Uh, there's a guy on uh, Kick, uh, 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 Aiden Ross. Who the f thought he would get famous? But he's yeah. born on the 11th. How did a clown like that get famous? But he's born on the 11th. Alex Jones. Everyone knows who he is. He's born on the 11th. So again, I'm going to bring it to your level. And I know history too. Not just American history. I know a different country's history. 22 is known as the master builder. Remember I talked about them being bodybuilders? Yeah. But they're also very good at building other things except their bodies. Vladimir Lenin, the guy who started the Soviet Union, born on the 22nd, he created the Soviet Union that was founded in 1922. George Washington, born on the 22nd. Who's the founding father of this country? Him. George Washington. If, P if anyone has more responsibility than George Washington and maybe only other person, Ben Franklin. But he was the first president, so he gets it. He was born on the 22nd. If he doesn't take his army across the Delaware River, there is no America. He did that. I can tell you that if you believe in coaching and you believe Bill Belichick is the best coach of all time, I'll tell you that his mentor was Bill Parcells, born on the 22nd. And you look at the coaching tree that he assembled, he built a lot of hell coaches. So again, we just talked about everything. We encompassed everything. I'm bringing this to your level. And if you still don't believe or at least have an open mind to this afterwards, I would have to question your intelligence or anyone else's out there because I'm giving people enough examples for them to say, okay, let me take a look, a look at this. And another thing people have to understand is it does not matter if you believe me or not. The elite, they do this. So they do this. Ask yourself, if they're doing this, isn't this something you should look at? I think that's that's reasonable. But do you think some of them started looking into this out of an insurance policy in terms of like, maybe they didn't believe it all the way, but they were like, hey, 
you know, there's a lot of coincidences here. So let me like cover my back by. No, they've been taught this from a young age. That's how they stay the elite. You go to public schools when they tell you to go to college, get yourself in debt, get a mortgage and slave to the system for 30 years. That's not what they're taught. They're taught a cult secrets from the very beginning. But what about people like LeBron James that didn't go to these schools? He was he was handpicked. That's why LeBron James supports certain causes. Okay. So can I give you two uh, other dates? With um, uh, For example, there's this guy who's currently on a murder trial where he's facing the death penalty, uh, this rapper, YNW Melly. He was born on May 1st, 1999. And what he's being tried for is the double murder of his two best friends, which happened on the night of October 26th, 2018. October 26th, 2018. So 2018 is an 11 day. So there we have the emotional event. And give me this guy's birthday one more time. May 5 1, 1st. 1999. Yeah. Well, 5-1 also happens to be the day the Illuminati was founded. Um, that's also the day Vanguard was created. Vanguard is uh, founded 5 1 uh, 75 adds up to 28. They got $9 trillion. I want you to repeat that $9 trillion. They control the whole system. Um, people in positions of power like that, if he's born 5 1, uh, he, he's most likely going to be sacrificed. And that could be either like he dies or he goes to prison forever. Yeah, or... pretty much. Okay. So um, I want to do another one, just like personality, not like linking it okay. to two. So very, very popular, bombastic personality really within uh, hip hop is Joe Budden. He was born. He's a 33. Is he? I think, give me his birthday. I think I uh, talked to him before. Uh, 831, 1980. I'm trying to think if this is the guy. Are you thinking I, I of Charlemagne? Sure. No, I know who Charlemagne is. Hard ass worker. That's the first thing. Has he been knocked a few times? Like beat the, up? You know, not just beat up, but, but by the law. Are, are they going he's, after this guy? Yeah, they've like okay, hit pieces so, so, and stuff. So, yeah. so he's born on the 31st. Three and one is four. Four is the number of law and order. So people born on the 4th, 13th, 31st can't really do dirt like that. So that's the first thing. Uh, second, he's also a three life path like your boy over here, Zerka. So probably a very, very loud. Yes. He probably likes to verbally abuse people like him. Uh, if you're talking about personality, probably matches this guy. Uh, the 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 difference is uh, this guy's pretty much a little bit more um, in the moment, and that guy's more planning how to do things. Um, that that's why I would say the major difference. But again, good mouthpiece runs his mouth, verbally abuses people. So again, a lot of the same personality. He is a podcaster, yeah. yeah. So a, a lot of podcasters are threes. Uh, Rolo Tomasi is a three. Um, uh, Crowder is a three. Uh, yeah, again, we talked about the people in the past who were born on the third, 12th, 21st, or 30th. So, again, a lot of the best podcasters are threes. That's why I keep saying this dude would be very good at this stuff. And that's why he is. Uh, Crowder, I mean, hell, there he was offered $50 million. He's very good at what he does. Now, the reason he's so hot right now is he's a cat, and this is a cat year. Okay. Just, just like, for instance, uh, um, what's his name? Uh, John Jones. Do you know who John Jones is? Yeah, fighter. Okay. So John Jones is born 1987, the year of the cat. He became the youngest UFC champion ever at the time on 2011, the year of the cat. In 2017, his enemy year, they stripped his ass of the title. He never lost the fight, but they stripped his ass of the title. And then in 2023, year of the cat, gets his title back. See how that works? I mean, that's a lot. That's stacking a lot of coincidences. And like, again, people can call this cherry picking. People can. And, and remember, some people are NPCs. So no matter what you tell them, it doesn't it, matter. No, for me, you it's know? like once it gets to too many coincidences, yeah. then I'm like, all right, because like you're you're hitting me with a lot. So I'm just like, damn, like you can't there can't be this many coincidences this frequently, especially the way you're Not pulling possible. it out. And you are giving like accurate bios on these guys that you, don't, you don't, don't even really know. I don't, I don't really. I don't need to know. I don't need. But uh, whatever space I go in, I'll dominate. Okay. There's uh, another. He's a. Uh, okay. I won't even give you information on this guy. Uh, his name is DJ Vlad. He was born six twenty eight nineteen seventy three. Is this the dude who does, the white dude who does the stuff on YouTube? 
Yeah. Okay, so I know who he is. So that's not really fair. Um, but he's born on the 28th? Yes. Does he have a big bag? Very big, yeah. Okay, so 20th number of wealth. Remember we talked about that before? Yeah, the billionaire. So does that make, make sense why he has a big bag, why it comes to him easier than it does the most in his position? Yeah, and he does. He was one of the people that even at his size, he monetized and found ways to mm -hmm. monetize better than everyone, everyone else. else. Yeah. That's exactly what I would expect of a 28. Um, I would also say he's uh, um, kind of ruthless with his space. He won't let anyone in. Um, in a way. So like he'll give people advice, but he's very... Um, ruthless with his content yeah so yeah. if anybody uses like even a 15 second clip like uh -huh. let's say on instagram he'll uh -huh. take it down he's like you, you can't you can't use my content at all it's centralized in this I, place i disagree with that i disagree with that philosophy Me too. I, want, I want people to know this i got 500 million views whatever content i have out there feel free to copy paste and do whatever the fuck you want i i do not i think it's i think it's more important to get yourself out there if people want to copy like uh there's some people I talked to before and they're like, man, that they, they got better views with the same video that I created than I did. I'm like, what are you mad about? I still saw you. Yeah. As long as it's you, what do you care? What do you care? As a matter of fact, you should actually give people incentives to do stuff like that. Like I do. How do you do that? Uh, I have something called GG33 Academy. Mm -hmm. um, it's my secondary school. One requires a non-disclosure. One requires you to pass an interview. Again, I won't just take your money. You got to pass the interview. You got to meet certain requirements for me to even teach you because that's one of the benefits of having a bag already. That's one of the benefits of having billionaires that I can actually say no to people because I don't need your money. So that, that's one. Some people are slaves to money and they will let a, someone who's a bad apple in just to get their money knowing that cancer will spread. No, not, not with my group. So um, the main group requires a non-disclosure, all that good stuff. The secondary group, a lot cheaper, 98 bucks a month. And I have some of my best teachers in there. Uh, people who teach tarot, best of the best. People who teach numerology, astrology, yoga, kundalini. Everything you can think of when it comes to the occult is being taught in GG33 Academy. And one of the things I do is I give people an affiliate link. If you want to go out there and make videos of stuff like this, and you know how well the videos have done. Yeah. And uh, you want to be an affiliate, I'll give you a cut. And that's how it works. That's how capitalism works. I got to give you an incentive to do better. That's why communism is never going to work. Because communism has no incentive. Why are you going to... Why would I outwork you if there's no incentive? Yeah. It makes no sense. So that's why you always have a stagnant economy uh, when it comes to communism. Because there's no incentive to do better. In capitalism, yo... I want to spread my videos. Okay, cool. I'm going to give you a cut for doing it. Now they have an incentive. Now you can grow. That's how capitalism works. And there's scale to it as well. Like the more exactly. they sell for you, the more they, 100%. The more of a percentage they get. So when did you first get involved in sports? Was that something that you grew up watching? And uh, first time. Oh, I, I mean, yeah, I was, uh, my dad was a Browns fan. And I was somewhat of a Browns fan. And believe me, that's pretty tough, man. That's like, you know, going out there to the, you know, ballpark every day or the playground and just getting your ass whooped and just going out there every <laughs> single year and knowing you're going to get bloodied up. Um, but my dad was a Browns fan. I was kind of. And then in 2007, I actually met the Browns and they put a restraining order on me. And I was like, you know what? What am I? What am I a fan for? Wait, why'd you get a restraining order? I told him to draft Adrian Peterson. Three twenty one, nineteen eighty five, eleven a life path, and he turned out to be a Hall of Famer. They didn't listen to me. Um, they picked up a good player, but they didn't pick him. And I used to go to Berea. That's where their headquarters was in Cleveland. And I went to the secretary. Went through everybody. Uh, unfortunately, the GM at the time was the ordained minister. And he wasn't trying to hear it. And uh, he told uh, someone in security, and I get a phone call one day. And it's uh, something like this. I pick up, and he's like, son, my name is Lou Maroletti. Do you know who I am? I'm like, no. He's like, Google me. I'll be call you back in 10 minutes. I'm like, what the fuck? Like, what kind of mobster is this calling me like that? 
And, you know, I, I Googled who he was. Mm. Former <laughs> head of the Secret Service under Bill Clinton. Next time he uh, called me, I said, yes, sir. <laughs> but um, he told me to leave the Browns alone. And the, this guy, because he was the uh, uh, president for Brown Security at the time. He retired. And I was like, listen, I got something here. I got something here. He's like, I don't care about putting Rooster anywhere on here. So they did it. I mean, I had uh, stuff with the Cleveland Indians, had stuff with the Cleveland Cavs. Um, but I, I have more success with other teams in California. And that story will come out eventually, eventually. one day. Eventually. When it comes to numerology, especially when you said you work with certain people that are religious, and you said there was this guy that wasn't trying to hear any of this, he was an ordained minister. Do you. Is there a lot better in, in since 2007 than explaining myself? Is there a conflict between, let's say, Abrahamic faiths, in, in particular, Zero. between that and numerology? Zero. You open the Bible, it's full with numbers. You open the Quran, it's filled with numbers. You open the Torah, it's filled with numbers. So if numbers are evil, so is the book they're written in. So after I say that, what can they really say? Yeah. Was there anybody that reached out to you that you were surprised by? Where you were like, oh, I never thought this guy would believe in this. Or maybe public facing, he's against numerology and says it's bullshit, but behind the scenes. Um, no, I don't get starstruck. No, no, not starstruck. Uh -huh. Like You were surprised that, oh, I didn't think this person believed in this stuff. Okay. Well, I mean, I, I've done readings for people in the House of Saud. You know, if, if you're doing people readings for people in the royalty in Saudi Arabia, at, at that point, what do you get surprised about anyone? You know, I, I had this one guy call me, and he's like, yeah, Gary, I want to uh, set a wedding date. I'm like, yeah, sure. I mean, you pay me a lot of money, I'll do whatever. Uh, what's the wife's birthday? And he's like, which one? So apparently he had uh, three wives, and there you're allowed to have four. So he was asking me who his fourth wife should be. And he was giving me a list of this person, this person. He's like, this is my final wife. I cannot have any more. I have to get this one right. <laughs> I'm like, you know, I'll, after he told me he could have four wives, I told him, Allah Akbar, brother. <laughs> you know, and, and, but uh, at the end of the day, um, you know, who the hell wants more than one woman? I mean, that's a headache, dude. That's a headache, man. They're, they're, they're emotional, filled with problems. If they don't get their way, they act like a child. Who the f wants more than one of those? Yeah, them apparently. So you've you've uh, had no problem going back and forth with a ton of people on Twitter. You've lost a bunch of accounts, and I think you've I've got, got a lot of them back. Yeah, you've in the past like year or so, right? Yeah, I got a lot of them back. I mean, a lot of them. Have come what back. were they banning you for back then? Uh, being conservative. Okay. supporting tr Trump and I didn't support Trump because I liked the guy I supported Trump because he was the lesser evil I mean Biden's a f pedophile and what's the decision here a guy who you know is probably stealing money some way or a guy who's a pedophile I mean come on now. so what are the different numbers between Trump and Biden Biden's a control puppet for Barack Obama Trump is probably being uh, puppeteered by someone, but the strings aren't as tight. So I kind of want to go into how your, I don't know if it's relationship, but your engagement with Andrew Tate started. Because the first time I saw it was when he had like called you out years ago. This was maybe 2017. Hey. And you were, you were doing the numerology thing. You had like a very, very strong like cult following at mm -hmm. that point in time. He was relatively small, but he didn't like, have my, he didn't have my, he didn't no, have no, my following. No, so didn't. so here's the thing. I, I have many friends who are friends with him. They set up a reading. They basically asked me to do it. It's not like I went for him. They mm -hmm. asked me to do it. I gave him a reading. In that reading, I told him he'd be famous in 2022. The, my rationale was he was born in the year of the tiger, and that's when the tiger year is. So just like Mr. Beast got a billion-dollar evaluation, he's a tiger. And, you know, last year he got that evaluation in the tiger year, just like Tom Cruise was the highest-paid actor at 100 million last year and he's a tiger and a tiger year just like the original top gun came out in 1986 a tiger year and he's a tiger so he got famous in a tiger year just like tate got famous so i told him this stuff would happen he got his account suspended and he decided that i was a soft target he's going to come after me uh he got his whole war room to pretty much get me suspended after a, a while and then he was laughing his ass off so uh that happened to be my enemy year 
so I really couldn't do much. Mm, um, so you fell back a little yeah, bit. Yeah, I fell back a little bit. I, I promised the her that I'm going to holler at him one day. Um, so when I see he's blowing up, I thought, well, now we strike. And I know I knew he had kids. No one, you know, very few people knew he had kids, but I have informants. So I knew he had kids. So I went on a podcast on 1111. Get this. Um, it was a podcast with uh, some kids who have like 10 million on TikTok. And I specifically told him I want to do it that day. And in that interview, I revealed that he has kids and that, you know, when he goes sees one of his baby mamas, he has to give him like 10 racks because the baby mom won't let him see the kid without money. It's like he has a lot of different kids with a lot of different women. So no one knew that about him. So as soon as I put that out there, it blew up on TikTok, six, seven, eight million views. Other people are copying it. All of a sudden, it's leaking everywhere. The top G has kids, this, this, this. Then he had to go on with Aiden Ross and admit he had it. So that's the first time I really fucked him up in the game. So um, then I started taking people off his team. Uh, GG33 Academy is the direct competitor to uh, his uh, war room. I st stole at least a thousand people from him. Not to mention that uh, the people who he was in contact with before are now coming to me. So um, um, I don't like it that a rival got you know got more famous than me, but we're changing that. And the and, and let's let's be honest. I'm not making this up. Five hundred million views this year. Five hundred million views. That's a lot of views. So here's the thing. Am I a billion yet? No, but he 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 went up too fast. When you go up too fast, you're gonna go down. Me, I'm doing more gradually. And was the year that he got locked up a bad year for him? No, at the end of the year, I said in a, in a um. Let me see if I can find the tweet. I actually predicted he get arrested in um by the end of the year in 2022 because the Tiger year is coming to an end. So is his fourth. So is is that little bump he got. Everyone does very well in their own year. Try, you know, everyone thinks they're the man. They they do well in their own year. What happens when your year ends? So even if it's your year, towards the end of the year, something bad can happen. Very possible. Extremely possible, actually. My sources in law enforcement have told me Andrew Tate will be arrested end of 2022, early 2023. No matter if he's guilty or not, the Romanian government is under intense pressure from USA slash big tech to shut him down. And this is October 11th, 2022. You said this. Yes. So when you make certain, like, uh, let's say guesses, yeah. right, based on numbers, is there ever a time where, where it's just that? like percentage based? Where you're like, hey, there's a higher likelihood yeah, of, of this course. happening. I can be wrong. Like you're not like 100% sniping everything who down. Who the hell is 100%? My claim to fame is not that I'm 100%. My claim to fame is I'm better than anyone else at it. Okay. That's it. So what is it that these other, like, astrologers, because you're, you're not just astrology, right? I'm numerology, astrology, and everything else. Well, so what's the distinction between numerology and astrology? Numerology is way more accurate. Okay. And less women involved. Of course. Okay. Hey, GG33 is 85% men. That, that's one thing that blew me away. It's like all astrology has been feminized to where we go, oh, that's like woman oh, shit. All that. But really, it's like... It's all to the do. The best has always been the men. Yeah. The best, Nostradamus, Rasputin, those were men. They were always the best. More women have always done it. But the best of the best of anything has always been Nostradamus, men. Nostradamus, that predicted everything, oh, he was man. the numbers. A man. He was an astrologer, numbers. but it doesn't matter. He's a man. Yeah. Actually, the, the more you go back, or even as far as Pythagoras, astrology just becomes numbers, compass, square, and stonemason tools. But for predicting Andrew Tate, you guys spoke about this. I knew this weeks ahead, um, and I, 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 you know, I didn't say too much, but because uh, of him. But uh, this was, this I was had a million people uh -huh. DM me saying every time Zerka's asked about Tate, uh -huh. he gets kind of like little fucking, you know, like I get. I, I, I called this October 11th. I said he's getting arrested by the end of the year, and I also said it doesn't matter if he's guilty or not. This, this stuff yeah. blows blows people away, but the stuff he told me weeks in advance, I, I told you some of that. Uh, that I'm not going to say. That stuff was even more impressive because every time I was asked in interviews, oh, what do you think about the Tate case? Everyone in the interviews was optimistic except me. 
And it's because of him. Oh, him. Right? I knew I knew he's going down. But uh, I, I was worried if I say it to the public, then more people will just start piling on because we don't need to see, I guess I'll consider him like red pillar. We don't need to see the red pillars go down. But uh, yeah, he black pilled me and I was like, oof, it's going down. The orange pill is f***ing what, 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 what happens? Let, let's, let's take a look. Uh, he gets out of the, the uh, Romanian jail on uh, March 31st, the day of the Matrix. Don't think these people don't have like f comedy. They did that shit on purpose, okay? Yeah. They release him on the 31st. They tell him to shut the f He shuts the f up in April. He shuts the f up in May. All of a sudden, he starts to run his mouth in uh, f June again. June with the BBC. Then he has a war room member, uh, Patrick Bet David, go f***ing down there and f interview his ass. Again, Patrick's probably making more money off tape than anyone else. That's the real pip out here. They just <laughs> they just messaged me, so we're not talking about Patrick. No, no, I'm just saying that's the guy who makes the most money off tape. I didn't know he's a war room guy. Uh, of course he is, man. I so no so here, here's what it is. And again, he's a very smart man. He made a lot of money. He's worth about 300 billy, milli. So I'm not questioning that. I'm just saying he makes the most off tape. But think about this. Right after that interview, the charges come. Because they told him to shut the f And he didn't shut the f So now uh, they're going to get him on trumped up charges. I don't believe he raped anybody. You know, I, 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 if me, me and him saw him in the streets right now, we'd probably go to work. But at the end of the day, yeah, he hates him, but he'll say day, the truth. He doesn't um, think he's a rapist, so no, it's fair. I don't think he's a rapist. But now, if Tate, he's a, he's a, and okay. if Tate, if it was the other way and Tate was on a podcast, oh, he'd he say this guy's fraud, a rapist. Fraud, That's just, yeah. fraud, you know, fraud. You know how many people came out that in Tate's inner circles? If Tate don't like you, he doesn't mind painting you as a rapist. Nope. We can't do that. I, I, we can't. We're, I, I, we have I, I, shame. I, I, we got, got shame. I got a moral code. I don't do shit like that. Yeah, yeah. Like I couldn't do that. So is him consistently opening his mouth an attribute of like his number? Yeah, of course. I mean, what's uh, Tate's number? Yeah, what is he's, he's he's a one. <laughs> he's a one. He's a one. He's a. <laughs> yeah. The one is the male, yeah, aggressive, the male. arrogant. Yeah. There are a lot of fighters that are ones. Correct. Yeah. Quite a few. Quite a few. I, I mean, no one ever said he's a beta. I just said he's a And his brother is a what number? I believe his brother's a three. Am I wrong? Tristan a three, really? Is, is it Tristan a three? I thought he's more quiet. I know he's a dragon. That's why you don't like him. <laughs> yeah. yeah look, him up, look him up. I think he's a... I don't, I don't remember. I don't remember what he is. Uh, but but you know, um, I, I you're, you're right about that. I don't really have reasons to hate the guy. All he said was dork. I've been called dork before yeah. and shit like that, or asshole, or he's a, he's a yeah. dragon. That's what you don't like. But him. it's not the word when he said it. It's his face in my head that made me go to war. He's a dragon. Yeah, he is a dragon. You know what's in? He's a three. So okay, so Tristan takes a three. So uh, again, he runs his mouth as well. How can a dragon be a three? His oh, birthday right, is right, a right, three. Right. It doesn't matter if he's right. a dragon or not. So you know well, what we're yeah. gonna do um, on Tristan uh, Tate's birthday? We're gonna go up to the KFC and we're gonna get some food, but we're not gonna do it, you know, inside. We're gonna go to the trash can because that's where uh, Tristan Tate gets his food from. Whoa. Remember when he was f broke all the time? He has all those stories about going to KFC and grabbing food. Yeah. So that's what we're gonna do on his birthday. We're gonna go right by <laughs> KFC yeah. and we're gonna f give people food out of there. It's in, honor, in honor of Tristan Tate's bitch. Ass. You know, the, the only reason I met up with him. It's like, oh, I don't know about this guy. There's a lot of this guy seems like maybe he's a fed. I'm but, a fed, man. You're a fed before I'm a fed. I say it, so, so okay, it's yeah, Who's wearing the some fed sunglasses? <laughs> who's wearing the fed sunglasses? That's because the black eye ritual. Uh, but yo, check this out. Um, as soon as we're like, he insulted me and stuff, and we're going back and forth. All he said was, yeah, Tate brothers are f <laughs> And I'm like, give me the edges. Let's do this fucking podcast. <laughs> What about uh, a, f a friend of his or a friend of ours, uh, Sneeko? His, uh, his he's a tiger. He's a tiger. So who put him on? Mr. Beast put him on first. Mr. Did, Beast yes. is a tiger. Sneeko's a tiger. Who put him on after that? Tate. Tate, yeah. Tate's a tiger, puts on another tiger. See how it works? And, and again, he, he could be all Quran all he wants. This supersedes Quran, okay? Because I can actually give you examples of how this works. When does Sneeko become the man? 2022, right? Yeah. Tiger year. Just like Tate came on in 2022. Oh, whoa. Oh, whoa. <laughs> so, 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 again. Uh, so, they blew up the same year. Yeah, of course. So the, the, uh, right, because he went through his formula. Yeah. Tiger, Tiger. Yeah. Oh, wow. So Wait, does that mean I, I do what dogs do? Like no, I follow... you, you actually do well with tigers. 
That's so true. You do well with Sneeko. Well, why, why do... I think I do. That's the, the content that, that, that people that, love most. I really think I do the best. That. People think uh, they make fun of me What's for Sneeko's, this. No, Sneeko is born on the eighth. That's why he's got a couple dollars. Yeah. yeah. Really? Yeah, born, born on, on the eighth. That's why he has a couple money. Oh, by the way, if you're listening, to Sneeko, it's not because you're a genius. It's because you're born on the eighth. Pen. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly it. But it's, to me, it's interesting because it's like, I people make fun of me when I say this, but I would work great with Trump because I'm not. You know those Trump's guys who are Trump's to, a dog like you. Is he? Yeah. And I and people just he runs his mouth just like you. People think that I would try and out alpha him. No, I want to be. I don't. I don't mind being under Trump at all. I, I'll be a fucking soldier. As long as you can talk. Yes, exactly. <laughs> as, as long as I get my identity. <laughs> but he's a dog, Trump. Yeah, he's a dog, Trump, man. That's my guy, bro. That's what. Well, give me another dog that you think I'd like. Uh, let's see who's another dog in history. Uh, Winston Churchill. Oh. Shit. Yeah, this is a satanic that, dog. Yeah, hey, yeah, what, what presidents were dogs? Uh, George W. Bush, Bill Clinton, a lot of dog presidents, actually. The, oh, and they're all, you pick the charismatic types, too. And they're all pretty much 11s, too. George W. Bush was a 33. That's why he was hated. He wasn't because he was evil? I mean, listen, uh, evil is, you know, perspective and relative. There it is. This you is know, where we this, separate. This, 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 I go this, with Christ. This, he goes with the this, as this, above, this, so this, below. This, 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 you know. <laughs> If you want to compare George W. Bush to me and you, yeah, he probably is evil. You want to compare him to Stalin, he, he looks like a saint. Yeah. Okay. So, so perspective what was Hitler? doesn't matter. Hitler was a 33. A three? 33. What is the difference? Mm, it, oh, we're yeah. adding it up, right? Yeah, three. No, you can't add up 11. No, he doesn't, get, he doesn't tell what 33 oh, is. Oh, right, because that's the second level. Yeah, well, let's just put it this way. 33s are the ones who influence the world. So you're 33. Yes. Could you say, with the knowledge you have, that the conspiracy of Hitler working with the Z's is... Uh... It's 100% true. I wrote a book on it. What? Yeah, I wrote a book on it. How? Um, Give me the book, bro. I'm in your house. Yeah, it's, it's, it's an e-book I'll send it to you. Oh, hell yeah. Tonight? Yeah, yeah sure. Okay. Is it purchasable on like Amazon? No, it's free. It's free? Oh, what? I gave it to people for free. Because uh, I didn't want to be uh, accused of trying to make a profit of uh, trying yeah. to slander people. So, is a 33 who, like, governs, like, people like Kanye and stuff? What do you mean, governs? You said, like, like the people that are above them in terms of, like, The handlers influence. would be 33s? Yeah. A, lot of, a lot of handlers have been 33s in life, but um, usually they're the ones who are the trailblazers. Uh, the Red Bro Brothers in flight was 33. What about um, these billionaires? Um, but, but that's 28. More right, the, the so there's people. someone, there's a handler above a billionaire, right? No, well, yeah, there's people who are trillionaires. I mean, come and on. And you, do you think the tops of power are 33s? No, I think the 33s just uh, influence. Like, for instance, Jesus died at 33. Why? Because the number is more important than the man. They wanted him, Jesus to be the most influential dead man in the world. That's why they said he died at 33, and that's exactly what he is. Now, there's even some talk that Muhammad was born 330. Uh, you know, again. What'd you say about seventy-two virgins? Uh, seven plus two equals nine. Nine is completion. And completion would be heaven. I didn't say that. Completion is the end. That could be heaven or hell. What about uh the so the handler that was texting? Kanye, so hell would be seventy-two. His, birth, <laughs> his birthday was August sixth, nineteen seventy-four. He was the guy that was saying if you don't August sixth, nineteen seventy-four. How oh, he's connected to people. <laughs> That's true. He's he's like the, this guy. He's very oh, yeah, he's, you very, got, oh. he's very connected to people. Someone trained him extremely well. <laughs> oh, it's true. So if they don't have yeah, that, is true. <laughs> <That's very> true. <laughs> if if someone doesn't fit the bill, you assume in his clan, in his team, that someone trained them I, well. I, I'm just really good at. Um, Could you, we, I, I can look at people's experiences in life. He, he can do Nostradamus predictions, but the most impressive thing about Gary is. This guy smokes two fat joints before doing this. Shit. How do you not like blank out if you're high? Because I'm a f***ing genius, and that don't affect me. A genius, give me some money. How about this? I'll show you how to make money. Ah, there it is. That's the Jewish way. <laughs> yeah, no, no, you gotta show me because you can show him, and he still won't do it. <laughs> no, 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 doubt, no doubt, no doubt, no doubt, no doubt. So again, um, when, when it comes down to it, uh. Marijuana does not affect me. You just saw me smoke something really yeah, big. Do yeah. I look like I'm fucked up? Not all. You look not energized. So again, that doesn't affect me like it does other people. I don't drink. I don't do stuff like that. But again, um, I, 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 I don't think that people who are stupid should smoke weed. 
Yeah. So um, most people shouldn't smoke. Yeah, weed. exactly. But well, would you ever assign a number that should never smoke weed? I don't think threes should smoke because they're talkers. I, 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 I don't want to reveal that information. Oh, that's that's behind the the gates. Okay, one last guy. This way, guy, I won't even tell you his name. Mm-hmm. Um, May seventeenth, nineteen ninety one. Influential, uh, was poor, goes up and down with money. I don't. Uh, again, I don't know who that is, but I would just say a very influential person from behind the scenes. That probably probably, probably knows a lot of people. It, That's a lot accurate. of people come to him for guidance. He's probably like the main networker. He probably makes his money off his acquaintances, the people he knows. That's how he makes his bread. Does things with a smile. Doesn't really try to strong arm people. Who is it? Academics. It's pretty accurate. Oh my god, with a smile too. <laughs> yeah, he's always laughing. Yeah, 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 he's not like a war type guy. Nope. Unless he's drinking, which is eh. which um, is all the time. Again, drinking is drinking. But yeah, he didn't really get into too many beasts when he had a problem with like. Yeah, he's gonna, he's gonna get paid if he isn't paid already. He's definitely gonna get paid. Yeah, he's yeah, he's, he's paid now. Yeah. yeah, yeah, he's he's definitely for like a lower name. A lot of money that guy. Yeah, has. he's he's he he shouldn't have to worry about money. Okay, so. Let's say somebody like believes this and they want to learn this. Mm-hmm. Like, where do they go? You said these books suck. Oh, well, of course. So again, I have GG33 Academy. You can sign out for that for 98 bucks a month. So I'm, I, it's not the most advanced info, but it's like stuff that really, really gets people on the right track. Um, I have my best students in there from numerology to astrology to Kundalini to tarot to all the stuff they're teaching in there. Um, if you want to get to the level where I start teaching people, that gets expensive. Um, not only that, um, you have to sign a non-disclosure, meaning if I teach you, you can't teach others. You can't compete against me. Why the f*** would I teach you if you're going to start competing against me? So again, I don't do that. So you're monopolizing. Of course. Why wouldn't I? I create the whole thing. Oh, I'm, I'm I, respect it. I? I respect the move. Yeah, why wouldn't I? Um, it, it, again, uh, there's people who are trying to make money off the free information I put out there. I see what happens when you know I, I, I don't gatekeep. People try to steal, and, and they won't even give you credit. That's the f- thing. They will not give you credit. I basically put 28's number of everywhere. Now you see that number everywhere. Everyone sees that number 28 everywhere. No one gives me credit. For God's sake, there was a pastor on f- uh, 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 this Sunday talking about everyone in his congregation giving him $28. What? And he's like, I can't tell you why. I'm like, f- <laughs> <laughs> I mean, come on, man. And then I see today 28, uh, 28 sticks of gum. Like if this company has 28 sticks. Where, where the f*** does this come from? So again, if I don't gatekeep, that's what happens. So I will gatekeep. And not only that, I won't just take your money. Uh, you, have oh, to, yeah. you, 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 you not only have to pass a non-disclosure, uh, you know, sign one, but you have to pass an interview. If I don't like your politics... If I don't like certain things about you, you're not coming in. No, what, what can Will Smith do to come in? Man, he can't do anything to come in. He's a time machine. What, oh, so, so what formed uh, your political views? Common sense. <laughs> so you weren't, so like. I, I was you were... never a liberal. Okay. I was never, I'm not one of these guys. Oh, I was a liberal and then I woke up. No, my fucker. I knew this shit at 13. I knew what Socialism was at 13, what communism was at 13. But here, here's the thing. The, every crypto, all these guys who have a bunch of money, but like 40,000 followers on Twitter and shit, the, after following you for a few weeks, they all changed their names to numbers. Yeah. Why? Uh, because they learn the system a little bit. I give a lot of free game. I give. I mean, you followed me for a while since like one. Yeah, like maybe like twenty. Well, I lost. I followed you in twenty sixteen to twenty seventeen. You know And then I like lost your account because my account got suspended. Yeah, yeah. And then I just lost. Wait, sight what did of you? How did like you? Last year. How did you find him? I was for... just in that circle of Twitter back then. Whoa. Yeah, dude. I used to have like a like. I, I was. The he first, had like a, the, like an army. I was the first one with the cult like following. Like before Tate, yeah, he had I people, was the first one. He had people hashtag their everything, shit in his, everything in their uh, bios. AJ Cortez, yeah, uh, CJ Johnson, Ed Lattimore, you know, Ed like Lattimore. Oh. No, I know, never Ed, never Ed. No, but he was in like that circle. Yeah, of he Twitter. was in the circle. Yeah, he yeah. was in the circle. I mean, I I, I played chess with that and stuff like that. Um, Who's mostly these guys come to you? Are they business world people? What do you, to me? To your, to your website? Is it mostly students? What um, is it? At this point. Uh, to my students, because I don't think broke people go to your website because broke people never think. Well, here, here's the thing: like for my students, it's probably uh, average income to above average. When it comes to me, I'm like a high priced information. <laughs> like you, you, like you, literally, if you want to play for me for like within 24 hours, it costs two thousand dollars. So again, I, I, it's not 
not but I mean, what are you supposed to do? That's supply and demand. Wait, I'd rather go to You're the Hustle. Only what, about, <laughs> what about Hustlers University? What can I learn there? Probably how to <laughs> drop, <laughs> yeah, drop shipping, right? How to <laughs> Did you ever sell something like that? No, I'm not doing that. This is a scam, right? Not, I mean, no, I mean, you can make money at it, but it's when the, when the space gets saturated. Yeah. When, when you have too many people doing the same thing, like, like l l think of all these Manosphere guys. Tate, Rolo, oh, yeah. Sartain, yeah. all these red pill guys, Waller. There's not that much space. It's like only 17% of society. You, you, you're splitting all these guys up. Well, Me, I on my own thing. And by the way, I'm branching out. See, most people say, hey, if you're good at something, stay in your lane. F that. I own my space. Now I'll come in your Lane. Well, but what about like when when their wives like yell at them on podcasts? Don't you think that's like is that really red pill? Are you gonna call them red? Hey, listen, brother, I I have never had anyone embarrass me like that besides my mother. Just flat out. Now, when you showed me that Sartain clip, oh, oh that he's the one that showed it to you. You yeah, showed it to me after. I liked that guy until that clip, and then I realized. Oh, he, of course, you like him. He's a three. I because he said he's military, so I, I actually thought he's gonna turn around and beat the shit out of that woman in a in a video game like Minecraft. But it no. was weird because he just kind of took it. Rolo's a three. Sartain's a three. Oh. You're a three. Crowder's a three. A oh, lot of these see, people. Now I don't want to be a three anymore. No, no, I'm with Crowder. Is, this is exactly what you guys do. You run your mouth. It doesn't mean you guys all believe in the same thing. So I'm not, three, right? I'm not a three. I'm not a three. I'm one of the red three. Hey, hey, hey. hey. I, all I got to say is this uh, Crowder, uh, your wife left you. You're worth <laughs> hundreds of millions of dollars. <laughs> And your wife left you. So obviously that means one of two things. Either you can't pipe her down right, or she was running all over you, and you never said no to her, and then she lost interest. It's one of the two. One of the two, and it equaled the three. You're making my guys look bad, bro. <laughs> <laughs> You're, fucking, you You're finally me? getting the math right. <laughs> oh, for I need to stay away from this line of thinking, because I've noticed most performative people or people who talk like me, they're kind of gay. They're like all gay, like they all have a secret gay history, and I'm like, bro, I don't really fit in with. I, I, if I'm chilling with I, just threes, I, I, I think it's gonna it's gonna be Holocaust. I, 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 I don't let homosexuals in my uh, in my studio, my friend. No, there's no pride here, bro. So, so what? Who's a three that's masculine besides me? Tom Cruise. Okay, yeah, I can see I mean, him being I mean, straight. That yeah. one could be straight. You can see him being straight. I mean, he had a, he had a lot of good-looking women around. He's as straight as it gets from yeah. that world. Well, if you yeah, look at his, that is true. Yeah. If you follow his marriages and divorces, he's like the one CIA Scientology asset that actually could be straight. There's nothing let me, to let me him ask that's you, gay. Sir, uh, sir, would you debate some Freemasons? Okay, I'm gonna. Uh, I, I, I would wipe the floor I, I, with I, I, them. Okay. I'm telling you, okay, I don't. Okay. I don't read 33 uh, degrees. Uh, I go so, way so, beyond. So, so, so here, here's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna bring some Freemasons here. And uh, from Ohio, and they're gonna be here sometime in July That's and cool. August. I'm gonna have you debate them flat out. Can I? Like can everything. I even have prepared questions? Yes, of course. Oh, I already, I already, I already cleared this with them. They, they, they always. They're, they're thirty second degrees. I'm telling 30 you, seconds. They always go back and forth in the email. When it comes to live, they never show up. Okay, I they never. I, I promise you, this person will show up. Is this I Prince Hall? You. Black no, Mason? No, no, is it's a not. white Mason? It's a white Mason. Give me a, all right, let's go. And you know, you know, the blacks aren't actually allowed yeah. to be Masons. Yeah, the Prince Hall is not real Mason. Mm -hmm. right. And neither are the women. Yeah. You know, at least the Masons. That's Eastern uh, Star. Exactly. We yeah. see the Masons were at least smart enough not to let the women in. Yeah. So you can't really say they're stupid. No, they're you geniuses know. for actually organizing the women, the blacks and stuff. No, but they have your own club. Yeah, exactly. But now yeah. uh, Shaq, he was on TV. Shaq. And he shows his Mason ring and they ask him, are you a Freemason? He's like, of course I am. And then the anchor says, is that a legal profession? And then, you know, the, you can't find this commercial, but I'm sure if you dig the, for five minutes, you'll find it. How the f*** is Shaq known for having $500 million? Because Shaq is born, Shaq is born 3-6-1972. 3-6-1-9-7-2 adds up to 28. Remember that magic number we kept talking about? He's a 28 life pad. Is he like, actually? Yeah. Show me on Google. This yeah, is gonna. Sure. This is it, bro. This is the sure, real deal if you're sure. right about this one. Well, Shaq has a lot of money. Way more than his f***ing buddies. He's like 400, 500 million more than a basketball player. Right, here we go. Three, oh, six, hey. 19, How do you not forget them? The thing I, is, I smoke enough, my dude. The thing is, even, <laughs> even, even if, like, let's say you are a fraud, I'm just so impressed by how much you memorize. Yeah. For, like, who? Nobody that does fraud would memorize this much fraud. Uh, yeah. And and liars are always nervous about on-spot questions. The f 
I got to be nervous about, man. I'm a pimp at this. Yeah, liars always afraid they're like getting caught, but this guy is like he'll you, like create he's more information. Deal. Gary might be the real deal. Might? Is there hey, still a might in here? I'm a three. It's I gotta, still a might in here? I'm a three. I have to make it performative. You're killing and, and, me, man. Attack him. You're killing me. <laughs> still a might in here, man. I'm the best of the best at what the f*** there is. There's not, I, I'm not the uh, uh, the Michael Jordan numerology. He's the f basketball player that I'm supposed to. I dominate everything. I completely own my field. No one else No one else has got f***ing numerology to men. No other person would have got you even considering talking about this yeah. or you or anyone else listening to this no, that's true. I pull that off because that's what i do and i'm the most stubborn guy on the internet so for me to put my reputation on the, on the line and say oh this is legit I, like a transgender how do i become an eight <laughs> how do i become the money I have, to, I, have to, I have to embrace my full three I, and be I, a performative I, I'll, I'll tell you i'll tell you when we're off camera how to but how get so eight. i think the reason why like you you're just so overly you're just like so not even overly overly you're just so masculine that men like see how you talk and what you say and they're like whoa this guy this can't be some gay shit that he's talking about just look at the way nah, he speaks and man. presents no nah, yeah. i ain't on that man all i can say is zerka tate logan paul you're very very lucky this technology wasn't around 20 years ago that would have completely dominated everything that's right i would have completely dominated everything i already got my bag i'm not as hungry as i will uh, we used to be but i'm gonna tell you what i'm gonna dominate the social media shit. i'm gonna completely dominate this shit because no one else is doing what i'm doing and at the end of the day I'm going to make it make sense. But isn't it dangerous to teach the stupid this? Sh I'm, 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 I gatekeep a lot, though. Oh, really? Yeah, I gatekeep a lot. I feel like the most dangerous thing is imagine stupid people watching this start doing their big events on 11s. It's not. And they it's fucking not, die. The thing is, it's, not stupid. That, it's not that simple. No, but stupid people, they read something. They know it works. And they know it could work for them, and they still just don't do it. What's interesting is it. the the numbers part actually gatekeeps and scares the stupid people. They go math. No, even I did that, but it's such simple math, and you know, it's not that deep thinking to get to change your life with this stuff. And what else are you gonna learn? Hustlers University. Let's <laughs> <laughs> well, learn how to pimp cam girls. That, that's what we're gonna do with our life. We're gonna learn how to pimp camp girls. A three can make it happen. Yeah, you, 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 you could definitely pull yeah. that one off. There's no doubt about that, yeah. bro. But then my legacy is gay. Now, you, what's interesting to me is like, if every number means something, you did one, go to two, three, four, oh all God, the way to nine. Two is the feminine energy. That's why B starts with, uh, uh, B is the second letter. That's why it starts with B and beta. That's why it has tits. Exactly. Uh, three is the childlike energy, the comedian. Four is the policeman. Five is the model, uh, the people who are entertainers. Six is home and family. Seven is the genius. Genius starts with G. G is the seventh letter. Eight is the number of money. Nine is the enigma. So the, the genius makes less money than the eight billionaire. Of course, that's not his role. The genius is like, really like, how much do they make, really? Um, but that's not what... That's not what really motivates genius. Because geniuses get stolen by AIDS. It happens. I mean, Bill Gates stole a lot from people. Stole Steve Jobs. Mm. Um, but it, 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 the smartest person isn't necessarily always going to be the richest. I mean, you know, we have Elon Musk. That's a rare exception. You know, he's a seven life path. He's really smart, but he's also born on the 28th. That's why he has that money. Um, yeah, but most people watching this, they only want to know how to increase their income. Yeah, but That's I'm, what not, I I'm not going to tell everyone that. That's insane. Yeah. Uh, all I can tell you guys is if you can price your products in eights, that's something I release to the public. For instance, if you're selling something for $1,000, sell it for nine, uh, 990, uh, 98 bucks. 998 equals 26, 2 and 6 is 8. If you sell something for uh, 3 bucks, sell for 305. 305 equals 8. So if you price your products in eights, they're gonna sell you a lot more. That's and, and believe me, I I've wait. So subconsciously, I, I've literally helped so many people. It's not subconscious. It's, no, no. It, are it, people it, doing the math subconsciously in their head and being attracted to the? No, he says it's the energy. And no, it's the energy. So oh. you're gonna like when you have that eight energy, it's just gonna pull money toward it like a black hole. Oh, so it's not the human no. doing the math in their head by no. accident, no. being no. going to the no. three and a five. No. So is that why you price the one at ninety eight dollars a month? Nine plus eight, seventeen, yeah, one seven eight. Of course. If he changes, you go go here here. I'll go to my whole website. 
you can do all the math, man. Everything's in the eights, and I'm not hiding it for this from I'm people. To learn this. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're getting it faster than me, and I'm I've been not. here for weeks. <laughs> no, this not. is like Naruto, bro. But hold on, if you change Zerka's yeah. brand, go, go go to anything right there. So It'll all my all merch, eights. if my merch had eights on them, you, you I would be eights. helping my audience. Of course, fifty-three. Oh. That's an eight. One twenty-five. Five plus two plus one. That's eight. Yeah. Hmm. Everything though, it, go to student readings, go to my readings, hit, hit my readings. You know, I believe, readings. you know, I believe in. Uh, where is that? Right, let me have it. Let hey, me show you. audience, let me talk to you. Is this the camera? Yeah, you know, why I believe in. You know, how expensive an eight ball is <laughs> like, holy shit, dude. But One, even, eight, in eight, pool, eight. even in pool, even in pool, that's eight 16, ball. 17, that's eight. One, one, and seven, every single one, nine, nine, eight, that's 26, Six, eight, yeah. 800, that's 8. If he cuts 5, the, 7, 5, that's 17 again, that's 8. If he cuts the YouTube video to 8-minute segments, he'll do better? Uh, I mean, 17 seconds, 26. Uh, sometimes 28 works. You know. But that's money. That's selling. Yeah, that's I, not I, necessarily... I would prefer to have it 33 seconds. That's more influence. With more influence, you create more money. Are your so, TikTok clips like that? A Is lot of them can be. I mean, uh, you have to understand, um, people care about money, so I talk about eights and twenties a lot. That's what they care about. I mean, you're I, not I, that into making, he's not into making money as much as you are being the master of the Like, you want the identity of master. And because I've been talking to him for weeks, and I'm like, you're not, you made enough. You're too, you're not as hungry. No, I, I mean, listen, I don't really care that much about being a billionaire. I have plenty of friends who are billionaires. You know, I would more much rather uh, have influence than be a billionaire. That's it. I mean, uh, listen, go on TikTok, put in numerology, just going to see my face over and over and over. Each clip is like a million. You do great yeah, on TikTok. I do very well. And IG, I'm destroying the two. I did a clip uh, four days ago at seven million. Another one three days ago at fucking four million. So, yeah, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll I think I have you in one that has at least a mil. Oh, let's go. Let's I go. think, we're, I think yeah, you need yeah. to put eight more. <laughs> we'll, 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 here, here, I'm gonna I'm gonna promise everyone this. Uh, by 2025, I will be bigger than Tate ever was. Okay. And I'll... by 2000, 2001? 2025. 2001 is the year I die. So you've been reincarnated already. I mean, 2001. This is 9/11. This math thing is not oh, working too hard for you. <laughs> and you know he'll never edit it out. So. <laughs> I'm a comedian guy. What the f you got? Nah, you got a while to live. Let me see Wait, your hand, man. So what's his oh, thing? What does the hand, hand do? Let me see your hand. What do you do, hand? Yeah, he'll make it to the 50s, bro. Don't worry. Really? Hey. That's more than he thought. <laughs> yeah, I'm not That's sure. I'm not sure about 60s though. You weren't even I'm sure yeah, about 40s. Yeah, my doctor said like 42. 42. Nah, I think you'll make it past 42, man. Okay, just, you know, might want to turn that eight ball into a two ball. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. I'm, a, I'm an entertainer. <laughs> <laughs>